It's me again. I'm back. Welcome again to another math moment with Miss Sandals. Today, we're going to be talking about fractions, decimals, and percents, and how to convert from one to the other. Fractions, decimals, and percents, and how to convert from one to the other. So let's get started. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go one, two, five, six, three, four. It's going to make sense when you see why I did it. So let's get started. To convert a fraction to a decimal, what you do is divide the numerator by the denominator. To convert a fraction to a decimal, divide the numerator by the denominator. Yeah. With the fraction, the number on the top is the numerator. The number on the bottom of the fraction is the denominator. And you divide the numerator by the denominator. The fraction bar is an operate is also an operation. It means to divide. So I read it three divided by five. So I write it three divided by five. Well, I know I can't divide three candies between five people. So what I do, I'm gonna put a zero here, but I'm gonna add a decimal here and bring the decimal up and then add a zero here. As long as I add the decimal behind the digit, I can have as many zeros as I want because the digit stays in its proper place. Now it's five divided into 30, or 30 divided by five. Well, I know 30 divided by five is six. I multiply, subtract. So three fifths equals six tenths or 0 0.6. This is how you convert a fraction to a decimal. Now, to convert a decimal back to a fraction, you read the decimal to write it as a fraction. This is the easiest conversion. Out of all six of these, this is the easiest one. To convert a decimal to a fraction, you read it so that you can write it, and then you simplify if needed. So I don't read this 0 0.5 because there's no fraction called 0 0.5. So what I do is read it in the place that it's in. So this is 5 tenths. So I have 5 tenths, but I can simplify this. Well, I know that the factors of 5 are 1 and 5. And out of 1 and 5, 5 can go into 10 as well. So what we're going to do is simplify both 5 and 10 by 5. And my, my fraction is now simplified to 1 half. So 0 0.5 to read it, so I can write it as a fraction, is 5 tenths. When simplified by 5, I get 1 half. Now, let's move to 5 and 6. To convert a decimal to a percent, and the word convert just means to change. To convert or change a decimal to a percent, I move the decimal two places to the right. These two are also very simple. You just have to remember the rule for it. So I move the decimal two places to the right in order for it to become a percent. So 0 0.625 or 625 thousandths, 625 thousandths. When I move it, the decimal two places to the right, it now becomes 62. 0.5 percent. That's all you did. From a decimal to a percent, move the decimal two places to the right. To convert a percent back to a decimal, guess what you do? Move the decimal two places to the left. Because 43 percent is not 43. Percent means out of 100, so you have to do something with a decimal. So because I have 43%, I move the decimal two places to the left. 43 In 43%, the decimal is behind the three. So I just move it two places to the left. And 43% is 0 0.43 or 43 hundredths to convert percent to a decimal. Now let's go to three and four. To convert a fraction to a percent, you can do it one of two ways. Whichever is easiest for you, I tell you to do it that way. Whichever is the best way you can understand and remember, 
do it that way. The first way, you can divide the numerator by the denominator and then take that answer and move the decimal two places to the right. So we'll do that one first. We have one fourth. Well, we do this just like we did converting a fraction to a decimal. We divide the numerator, which is one, by the denominator, which is four. One divided by four. Well, I know I can't divide one shirt between four people, so I do what I did here for three fifths. I add a decimal after the one, bring up the decimal in the quotient, and then I add a zero. This is still one. Now it's 10 divided by four. So I know four goes into 10 two times. Two times four is eight. When I subtract, I get two. Well, because I have a remainder, I have to keep going. So in order to keep going, I add another zero and I bring it down. Now, four can be divided into 20 five times, or 20 divided by four is five. Multiply, five times four is 20. Now I have a remainder of zero, which means I'm done. So now I have converted my fraction to a decimal, but I'm not done because I'm converting a fraction to a percent. So after I divide the numerator by the denominator, which is what I did, we move the decimal two places to the right, and one fourth equals 25%. The second way you can convert a fraction to a percent is to make the denominator equivalent to 100. Make the denominator equivalent to 100. And so this is what I mean. Because the denominator is the, at the number at the bottom of the fraction. Remember I said percent means out of 100. So whatever number goes here will be out of 100. The denominator is always the total. So 100 is the total, therefore it should be the number in the denominator. So in order to make 4 equivalent to 100, I have to figure out how many times 4 goes into 100. Oh, that's right, we just did it. It goes in there 25 times. So whatever I do to the bottom, or in the denominator, I do to the top, or the numerator, because it must be equivalent. Equivalent means equal. So 1 times 25 is 25. Remember I said percent means out of 100. So whatever the number is in the numerator will always be your percent. As long as the denominator is 100, whatever is in the numerator is the percent. So 25 out of 100 is 25%. These are the two ways you can convert a fraction to a percent. Last one. To convert a percent to a fraction, write the percent over 100 and then simplify if necessary. Again, percent means out of 100. So I have 36%. That means 36% means 36 out of 100. Then I have my fraction, but I need to see if I can simplify. Well, I know the factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, then 12, 18, and 36. Now, out of all these factors, you want to choose the greatest common factor so you don't have to keep simplifying. Well, I know the numbers that can be divided into 100 are two and four and that's it so the greatest factor common factor that 100 has in common with 36 is four so I'm going to simplify both by four to make it equivalent 36 divided by 4 is 9 100 divided by 4 is 25 the only factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9, and the only factor out of 1, 3, and 9 that can be divided into 25 is 1. That means we're done. So 36% is 36 out of 100, 36 hundredths, when simplified by 4 is 9 25ths. Ladies and gentlemen, converting fractions 
decimals, and percents. These are the steps. These are the rules. This is how you do it. You know what we're going to do now. Get out of the way so that all of you can take a snapshot, do whatever it is you need to do if you're writing some notes down. And we will be doing this. <laughs> Big brother, I'm going to pay you in fractions. Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. We're going to count down right now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me again for today's math moment, fractions, decimals, and percents. Hope you've learned something today. Hope something has re-energized your math brain, got you going again. As always, please stay safe, as safe as you can. Hang out with your family, the people that live with you, you know, stay safe. And as always, stay sanitized. We'll see you later.